Celebrating its 40th birthday is the DMC-12, the one and only model from the DeLorean Motor Company. This car is more than the sum of its parts and means many things to many people, including me. Hopes, dreams and even several Hollywood movies, it's an automotive icon in my opinion. Brainchild of John Z. DeLorean was produced for just two years in the early 1980s in a purpose-built factory in Belfast and out of the 9,000 vehicles, 6,500 remain on the road today. The original prototype design was eventually re-engineered by Colin Chapman's team at Lotus Cars, replacing unproven materials and manufacturing techniques and also adding a Lotus steel backbone chassis. All bar three vehicles left the factory in this brushed, austenitic stainless steel finish. It's one of the five classes of stainless steel and basically the steel cannot be hardened by heat treatment and essentially it's not magnetic. The three vehicles that did leave the factory in a non-stainless steel finish were actually 24 karat gold plated. Designed by Giuseppe Gigero, the wheels are in actual fact two different sizes, 14 inch at the front and 15 inch at the rear. By today's standard, the 19560R14 front tyres and the 23560R15 rear tyres are not that low profile for a sports car. Another unusual characteristic is the toll booth type side window rather than the full side window. It may be something to do with the design of the door and the ability of the window to retract. I'm not quite clear about that, but if you know, please comment. And another iconic feature is that this vehicle sports a fabulous pair of gullwing doors. Another unusual, although not unique feature, is the handbrakes located to the left of the driver's seat. The DeLorean came with the option of either a black or grey interior, and the colour of the interior is determined by the colour of the dash, the seats and the console, all of which should be the same. Parts are recognisable in some instances from contemporary Rovers, Jaguars and other vehicles of the period, using the same suppliers. To be fair, the quality of the car inside is far better in terms of fit, finish and materials than I expected from a car of the early 1980s. The DMC-12 has a naturally aspirated 2.8 litre fuel injected engine, the so-called Duvrin engine, V6 PRV engine, PRV standing for Peugeot Renault Volvo, develops 130 brake horsepower but is somewhat strangled by US emissions equipment. Power is transmitted to the road uh, with a rear wheel drive configuration with a five speed manual gearbox or three speed automatic. Apparently relieved of its emissions equipment and with some tuning this vehicle in actual fact has quite a good turn of speed. Part supply particularly in the US where the car has a cult following is pretty good and in actual fact it's probably easier than you might imagine to keep these vehicles on the road. As interest in DeLorean's as classic vehicles has increased then so have inevitably its residual value. Whereas at one time I seem to recall you could buy vehicles for under £10,000, or maybe that's me dreaming, certainly the ones I've looked at more recently appear to be in the order of thirty pounds to £40,000, although probably it might be wise to look in the US to see what's available, exchange rate permitting. And finally, my sincere thanks to the Lorian Owners Club, which is a small, friendly and passionate group of owners. Formed in 1996, they consider themselves the custodians of the brand, committed to preserving the history and heritage of DeLorean, keeping the cars and the name alive. 
Thanks guys for letting me get closer to your cars. And if any of you do want to risk me driving the cars and doing a full road test review, you know where to find me. Thanks again. Thanks for joining me on this short tour around the DeLorean Owners Club stand at the UK National Classic Motor Show. Please like, share and subscribe and feel free to join me on the next one. Thanks for watching.